Hi, Soul Family. This is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi weekly. This will be from October the 17th through October the 30th. I've already completed fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I am now on to earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And before I get started, let me just say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all the comments, all the emails, all the likes and dislikes because it's still energy. Thank you for all my clients who have booked personal readings. I really appreciate that. Um, this may not resonate with everyone. It may resonate with 5%. 1%, half a percent, one or two people. <laughs> um, it may resonate with whoever needs to hear it at the right time, right? And also, please continue to check your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, Neptune sign, north, north node, south node. You get it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I've already set my intention. I've already done my prayer. So uh, let's start off with Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your bi-weekly from October the 17th through October the 30th. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a great week. One more. One more. Capricorn, your focus, the eight of coins. Working hard on your skill, on your trade, on your business. Let's see. You also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Three of Coins. You also have the Six of Coins in the reverse. Okay. You also have the Hierophant, Major Arcana. You also have the Seven of Coins. Okay, let's come on down and see what's going on. Capricorn, your focus is the Eight of Coins. Now this is the skilled tradesman who works hard at mastering their business or their job. This is, hmm new opportunities and being open to learning new ideas and innovative innovative things and, and ways to accomplish. New projects or new opportunities and new businesses and just overall new skill sets. You also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Now in the upright, this is walking away from that Eight of Cups due to sorrow and heartbreak or disappointments. But in the reverse, this is not able to walk away from a situation or heartbreak. This is staying stuck. This is being in denial. You also have the Queen of Coin. 
I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this is a nurturing queen, very loving, very compassionate, very devoted to family and her friends and nurturing of the home and her pets and everything through love and wisdom and experience. But in the reverse, this is hmm, an overbearing mother figure. <laughs> Ah, can be quite harsh or volatile at times with emotions. You also have the three of coins. This is coming together in partnerships to complete tasks and complete projects and using all resources and skill sets to hmm, work together on ventures that are High achieving and very rewarding. You also have the six of coins in the reverse. Now in the upright and the rider weight, this is a merchant that gives to one but not the other. And in some decks, both people are receiving coins in exchange and generosity and gratitude, gifts, favor. But in the reverse, this is hmm, a loss in finances. This is hmm, jealousy and envy and broken relationships in business and personal and just careless planning of finances. The Hierophant. This card represents major corporations and higher learning in the religious sectors and marriages, long-term commitments. Hmm. You also have the Seven of Coins. Now this is Planting your seeds and watching your harvest grow. This is dedication and creativity and commitment to a goal or relationship. Reaping what you sow. So Capricorn, hmm. I believe there's some type of work relationship that didn't turn out so well, Capricorn, with this Queen of Cups. Hmm. Because whatever reason, instead of walking away from this situation, <laughs> you both are still somehow working on the same team, which is why maybe you can't walk away. Hmm. some type of maybe business family business some type of family business maybe in Capricorn you're not able to walk away from this family business perhaps this is this is your mother, which is why you can't walk away. <laughs> oh, because this is where your pinnacles come from. Huh. 
a long-term situation, a long-term business, family business, and your mother makes all the decisions, or your father. Remember, these are just pictures on the card. It's the energy. But it's something, Capricorn, that has you a little in balance when it comes to your money. But you're working on your skill sets. You're thinking about growth and creativity. You're trying to expand the business. And bring in perhaps new partnerships. And maybe that's where the problem is. Capricorn or Capricorn's cross watcher. You're trying to build the business from old traditional ways, old traditional ways of thinking, traditional ways of doing things. You're trying to build the business to become more modern, more up to date, bringing in new partnerships, new technology. Hmm. But you're being held back. Of making these partnerships possibly because of this. Queen or King of Cups. Who. Is their way or the highway. Maybe they've said if you don't like the way we run our business you. Can leave the business. But this is what you grew up into. This is what you also put your seeds into and your creative skills into. This is something that you wanna help grow and make it last for your children and your children's children. So this reading is very specific for someone who is in a family dynamic, a family business, and they don't have any control over how things are done due to an elderly person who controls and makes the decisions. But Capricorn, you have to keep plugging and keep working at it. Keep trying to build on your ideas and your skill sets. And maybe eventually <laughs> this mother or this father, maybe they'll come around once they see that your ideas will bring in Major profits, not losses. Hmm. Well, this reading is for someone very specific. It's not going to relate to everyone because, of course, not everyone has a family business. But if this resonates with you, and you probably won't be able to comment, right? <laughs> but if it does, leave a small or a short comment, maybe. Um, hmm. Capricorn, this is your reading. Let's get some positive affirmations.
I am walking my path of self-discovery and enjoying each step of my journey. Exactly. Don't give up, Capricorn. Maybe you're the younger person. <laughs> you're the younger person in the company and you have a creative way or things you want to input or implement and you're really having a hard time here. But continue to do the work and plant your seeds and Watch over your harvest and little by little, try and bring in new partnerships and new technology and see if that increased profits. All right. I am walking my path of self-discovery and enjoying each step of my journey. Don't give up. Maybe one day you will be at the head of the family business. Don't give up. I have the attitude of gratitude for the many wonderful resources I have to use each day to create the life I desire. Exactly. Continue to build on your skill set. Continue to work on your pinnacles. Continue to think of new and, and it, I guess, new technology to grow the business or even maybe do a spinoff of the family business where it's something that if the name is already out there it doesn't take much money to spin off something a little more creative if you have the skill sets and the resources to do something of, of that nature I have the attitude of gratitude for the many re wonderful resources I have to use each day to create the life I desire Interesting read. Well, Capricorn, this is for somebody. <laughs> From October the 17th through October the 30th. Uh, please comment, especially if this resonates. Subscribe, like, or share. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul. <laughs> and from one soul to another soul, I love you, soul family. Have a good week.